In this video, I will show you how to create a simple C++ application using Qt. So in this window, I will just create a new project. So let's click on File, then New File or Project. And here we have to select Application, then Qt Widgets, then Choose. So here, let's call this application Hello Qt. And I will save this project at this path. Now let's click on Next. So here I will use the QMake for the build system, then let's click next. So here I will create this class called main window and these two files, one main window.h and one main window.cpp. Also I will create this file which allows me to create the user interface. Now let's click next. Let's click next again. And here we have only this option, so we will select it. So this allows me to create an application for the desktop using this version of Qt and using this building tool, which is MinGW. Now let's click Next. And finally, let's click Finish. Now the project is created, so let's open the user interface. So here we have several areas. Here we have the different components that we can add to this interface. In this area we have the components that are already added to the interface. And here we have the properties of the selected component. So let's modify the dimension of this interface. Now, as we can see, we have a menu bar and a status bar, so we can remove them. They are useless for us for the moment. So let's make a right click, then remove. And let's do the same thing with the status bar. Now let's add a label. So to find the label, it is just here. So let's drag and drop it. And now let's modify the text. So we have to find the text property. And here we can modify the text. So let's write first name. Now let's add an edit text. So the edit text is just called line edit. So let's drag and drop it. And let's increase the width. So the object name of this edit text is just line edit. So let's modify it. So we have to find the object name. And here I will just call it LE for line edit, first name. Let's hit enter. Now let's add another label. So for the text, I will modify it and I will write last name. We can also increase the width to make the text visible. Let's do the same thing with the first label. Also, let's add another edit text. So for this edit text, I will modify the object name. So I will call it LE last name. And as you can see, the object name is visible in this area. Now let's add another label. And I will add it just here. I will increase the width. Also, I will remove the text because I want to modify the text from the C++ code. So I will remove the text of the text property. Also, for the object name, I will call it LB welcome and finally I will add two buttons at the end so let's add two push buttons so let's drag and drop it here and let's add a second push button now let's modify the text of this first push button So let's write OK and let's modify the object name. I will call it BTN OK. Now for the second push button, I will call the object name BTN Clear. 
and for the text I will write clear now let's add a listener to this first button so to add a listener I have just to make a right click then I have to click on go to slot and in this window I have just to click on click it so because I want to add a listener when we click on the button we have to select click it and to click on OK so what I write here will be executed when I click on the OK button so what I want to do here is to read the first name and the last name and to display a welcome message in the welcome label so let's do this so here UI is the object name of our main window and if we want to read the text of the text field we have to call the object name of the text field followed by text method and if we want to set a text into the welcome label we have just to call the object name of the welcome label followed by the function set text now let's go back to the user interface and let's add a listener to the clear button so let's make a right click then go to slot and in this window I have to select click it then OK so what I write here will be executed when I click on the clear button so what I want to do when I click on the clear button is to make the text fields empty and the welcome label empty as well so let's do this now let's run this application so we can use this button to run the application and of course we need to save these files that have been modified so let's click on save all so in this window I can provide the first name let's say for example Bill and for the second name let's say Gates now let's click on OK and this is the output welcome Bill Gates if I click on clear all the fields will be cleared now let's close this window. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.